Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miguel. Good evening, Janet. Good evening, Milton, Marcos, and Adriana. Welcome to the class, guys. How are you? Good evening, Miss. Sorry, I am sick. You are sick? Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. But you can be in the class, right, Marcos? Yes, teacher. I listen. What, what is the problem? Um, no puedo tener activada la cámara y, como se llama, no aguanto estar sentado mucho tiempo. Tengo problemas musculares en la vista femoral. Okay, okay. So you're going to have the camera off, but you can be participating in the class? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you for making the effort and being here in the class. Okay, guys, so welcome. Thank you for your puntuality. I know I was a little bit late, like one minute late or so. Um, today, we're, we, we are starting the last week. So actually, this is the last week of this module. Then we're going to wait. I don't know how long we're going to wait. Maybe we are going to wait like... Uh, I think the most is going to be a week, I think. But if not, sometimes we start like right after we finish. So, for example, we finish. Let me see. We finish the 10th. So Thursday, maybe Monday, we're going to be back in the next module. But sometimes with the paperwork, it takes like a week, but no more than a week, okay? So I'm just letting you know. So maybe in this week or the next week, we're gonna be starting with the next module, okay? They are gonna let you know, the people from English Corporativo, they will let you know when we're gonna start and things like that. They, they, they will send you emails and they will send you messages to WhatsApp. So yes, but today we're starting the last week. So we only have four more days. So by Thursday, before we start the class, you need to finish all the exercises in the platform and you need to finish the final exam, okay? Before we come to the class, not after the class, before we come to the class, okay? Okay, teacher. Pregunta, okay, ¿me mate. escuchan cortado? ¿Me ven pixeleado o algo así? No, teacher. ¿Todo bien? I listen very good. Yes. Perfect, okay, very good. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, we have to complete the platform by Thursday before the class. Before the class, the class means antes, before is not después, okay? Because when we come to the class, we are going to work on the exercise of the final exam together. If you come to the class and you have not completed the platform, then you're going to be working with me and in the exercises. So it's like you're gonna be copying what I'm doing, not your work, okay? So please, before we come to the class, finish the platform. So what it takes me to the next question, do you have any doubts or any questions about the platform so far? Nope, I think that's a no, right? Perfect, perfect. Now, we're gonna start with this class because we have only four more classes, this one, and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And by Thursday, you have to complete everything, okay? So let's go here. Oh, no, no, before we start, always send me the chat, uh, send me the date to the chat. I need to see if you're practicing that. <laughs> 
So send me the date to the chat, the date to the chat, yes, please. Good job, Adriana. Monday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good job, mm, Janet, yes, but remember seventh, seventh. And remember, days of the week and months, the first letter, yes, Janet, with that. The first letter is gonna be capital, months and dates of the week, days of the week. Good job, Marcos, good job, Miguel. Only Miguel, the month is first and then the date. It's different than in Spanish, remember. It's different. Good job, Jasmine, and good job, Milton. So remember, in Spanish, we say the date. <clears throat> I'm sorry, and then we say the month. But in English, we say the month and then we say the date, okay? Just to have that in okay, mind. Perfect. 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 Okay, let's go here. Um Jasmine. Is Jasmine or Yasmin? Whatever you want. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So whatever <laughs> I want. <laughs> okay, Jasmine. Can you help me reading the date, please? Okay, now is Monday, February 10th, 2022. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. M Miguel, could you help me reading the topic for today, please? 5.1 Cross Cultural Experience. Experiences. Experience. Okay. Yes, because experience is singular and experiences is plural. Okay, guys. So now, remember, we have been practicing our pronunciation. We have been training our pronunciation. We learned some tongue twisters. We have been practicing that. So today, this is the final week. I have a new one for you. And this one is going to be a little bit more difficult. Just a little bit. It's not complicated in the pronunciation. Maybe it's complicated in the words because it's a little bit longer. So listen, I'm going to say it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, so that's going to be the one. No comment. <laughs> Sin comentarios. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to show. I, I listened to the Twister um, of my. Of my. Sobrino. Como se dice. Se me olvidó. Nephew. Se los había escuchado. Yo, yeah, nephew. Se los había escuchado. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Yeah. Like, why? Do they like English or do they study English? In English. What is it? They study English? Yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me let me share with you what is the tongue twister actually. So this is the one. Look at it. With this one, we're going to be practicing the pronunciation of the letter R, Peter Piper. And sometimes if you pay attention here, you see this letter, it's the letter T but it has the sound of the letter R. In this case, it's Peter, not Peter, it's Peter, Peter. 
For example, Spider-Man is not Peter, no, Peter Parker, it's Peter Parker, okay? Peter, it's Peter. And then when we say verbs in the past, these pronunciations are different. For example, in this case, we don't say picked, no, that is incorrect. The correct pronunciation is picked, picked, like with a T at the end, a T sound, picked, picked. Ese fue mi intento de hacer una letra T, espérenme, le voy a hacer bonita. Yes, that's better. <laughs> picked. Pickled. In this case, it's not pickled. It's pickled. Pickled. In this case, the sound, it's going to be like a letter D. Okay? D. Pickled. 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 Then we have peppers. Sometimes people say papers. It's not papers, it's peppers. Do you know what is a pepper? You don't you don't know the meaning of a pepper? It's in Chile. Yes. Yeah. A, uh -huh. Pimienta. Pimienta. Yeah. Oh. Chile. The Chile too. It's Chile too. Yeah, pepper. Red peppers. For example, los, los red hot chili peppers. Chile, per, chile verde. Yeah. Red hot chili peppers. ¿Ya han escuchado ellos? Red hot chili peppers. The red hot chili peppers es una banda. Vale. Luego volvemos aquí. Pack of pickled peppers. Oh my goodness. What did I do? Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack? of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked, okay? Now, it's not complicated, guys. The only thing you have to do is to really, really pay attention. Pay attention to the words you're saying, because if you try to run, then it's going to be complicated. But if you say it slow, you pay attention to the words, you pay attention to the pronunciation, it's not gonna be so complicated. It depends on you. So the first thing, go slow, but try to say every word. So I'm gonna practice with you in this moment. <clears throat> Peter Piper picked a bag of pickled peppers, a bag of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Again, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, a pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? A little bit faster, Peter Piper picked. A pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? So I'm gonna send you to practice. Remember, first thing you need to do is practice. Slow. Go slow, don't go fast, go slow. And then when we finish practicing, um, then we can go with speed. But right now, just practice, pronunciation. Help your classmates. It's picked, pickled, 
picked pickled okay let's go practice <clears throat> Gabriela, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> I come late. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. So I'm going to send you to a record room. Okay, Gabriela? Okay. Okay, let's go. Hello, Saul. Welcome to the class, Saul. No le puedo escuchar porque tiene apagado el micrófono. ¿Y ahora? Sí, ahora sí. Ok, now I am in a gas station because uh, I was traveling during the day, but uh, uh, I need uh, at least uh, listen the class. Okay, That's so, no, 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 usted se puede quedar como escucha, eh, como listener, lo que va a hacer es que nada más va a desactivar su audio, va a desactivar su cámara, y solo va a escuchar a sus compañeros practicar y me va a escuchar a mí, okay? Okay, excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Solo voy a enviar Thank un grupo you. ahorita, okay? Okay. Y ahí solo escucha, solo escucha nada más. Ok, excelente. Okay. Perfecto. Pico, Pepper, Peter, Piper, Okay, excellent. Thank you. My turn. 
Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Wow. Thanks. Yes, me? Me. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Who? What is the next? It's Peter Piper. Yes. Remember, it's not Peter Piper, it's Peter Piper. Piper. Peter, Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled papers. A pack of pickled. Great. You did a great job. Congrats. Okay, I'm going to try now. You uh, too. Peter Piper. Okay. <laughs> Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picks? Okay, very good. Nice job. Um, Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled paper? Peter Piper peppers. It is peppers. Peppers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. In my turn. Okay. Peter.
Where's the pickle, pickle pepper? First, Peter Piper pick. Okay, good job. Great job. My turn. Peter Piper pick. Yeah. A peg of pickle paper. A peg of pickle paper. Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick, a peg of pickle paper. Where's the peg of pickle paper? Peter Piper pick. Just a correction, Miguel, is peppers. Okay. It's not peppers, paper. Peppers. It's peppers. Peppers, peppers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Don't worry. Okay. Next. My turn. Okay. Peter Piper pick. A pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper pick. If Peter Peter Piper pick it. Hi. Okay. Again. Peter again. Peter Piper picks a pack of pickled peppers. Again. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper. Yeah. Peter Piper picks. If Peter Piper's pick again. a pack of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Okay,
Hello, hello. Recording in progress. Recording in progress. That's what it says when we come back, right? So how are you? Have you been training? How is the, the mouth? Peter Piper picked. So how's the training, right? It's difficult. I know it's difficult. Okay, perfect. So this week, all this week, we're going to be practicing that, that tongue twister. This is the last tongue twister we're going to see in this module. Then, I don't know, maybe next module we do more. But remember, tongue twisters are not for you to keep in your mind and just practice in your mind. Le dije como ir al gimnasio y que le diga el instructor, háganme 100 sentadillas y usted me voy a imaginar que las hago. Ya las hice. Ok, entonces no es como que les diga, practiquen el tongue twister y usted, aquí lo voy a andar. Tienen que practicarlo, el pro, la cosa es que los músculos de la boca empiecen a reconocer el English, ¿verdad? Yes, that's the purpose. No, espérame, teacher, voy a pensar. Viera que todo el día lo han dado en la mente y no me sale. Pues obvio, lo han dado en la mente. Obviously, that's the problem. Ok. So, um, we're going to go here and I'm going to show you a new idiom for this week. Recuerdenme que son los idioms. What is an idiom? Mm -hmm. It's like, um, I don't know, modismo. Exactly. Give me an uh, example. Propio de, de cada país. An what example? We, what we wa were... So in the in the first class maybe is a piece of case in English for uh, our country is pan comido is yes. something that is easy. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's what it is. Hey guys, I never told. Thank you, Yana. Thank you very much. That was really helpful. Now, guys, I didn't tell you. <laughs> I always tell my students this. So as you know, I'm not. I, I'm guessing like. The most of you are from San Salvador. Like Marcos, I know is from La Unión, right, Marcos? Yeah, con Chavo La Unión. Okay, and then the other ones, I don't know, but I'm guessing you're from San Salvador. The thing is this, para todos los demás, para Marcos no, después le voy a preguntar. ¿Qué es una paila para ustedes? It's like a little a dish. plate, a little plate. Ajá, 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 ajá. Vaya, Marcos, ¿qué es una paila para usted? Uh, donde se echa la sopa. ¿La paila es donde se echa la sopa? Sí. No, es como like a, a plato place sopero? that you put the, the cup yeah. of coffee. Vaya, vaya, no, escúchenme. Paila escúchenme. es guacal. Paila. Miguel, ¿de dónde es usted? No, guacal, guacal <risas> es de donde recipiente de agua. Ajá. Usulután. Usulután también, Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> Vaya, para mí paila y para Miguel es un guacal así, pero cholo, yes. la paila es como donde anda la gente vendiendo. Eso es una paila para nosotros. Yeah. <laughs> pero igual también es que depende de por qué hay pailas que son de aluminio. Ajá, las pailas. La, por eso, la paila que for me. No. ¿Eso es una paila para usted, Glana? No, una paila es una pequeña. Paila, paila is... Oh, is this, is Glenda okay. show right now. <laughs> this is both for me. Like example, Glenda. No, I'm living no, in no. El Salvador, but I am from here. And for me, it's a paila. The, the place to put the cup of <laughs> coffee. Eso, Miguel, Miguel, exactly, Miguel, Miguel, what Miguel is saying, yeah, 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 Miren, le voy a decir por qué, las cosas varían, aquí todos tienen razón, todos tienen razón, pero las cosas varían, depende del país de donde, de, del país, del departamento de donde es cada persona, los nombres varían de un lugar para otro, por ejemplo, si ustedes imagínense, estamos en un cumpleaños en San Salvador y me dicen, teacher, tráigase una paila que le voy a dar un pedazo de pastel, y yo, híjole, Va a estar grande ese pedazo. La va a llenar. Todo el pastel. Uh -huh. Voy a llevar para la... Voy a llevar un huacal, Miguel. Y ustedes... Ajá, cabal, lo que le enseñó Miguel es lo que les voy a enseñar yo. Y ustedes van a decir, no, te una paila, una paila. Y para mí, paila, pailita, es un guacalito. 
pero Paila es enorme. Yeah. Mi, es, es igual cuando, cuando decimos, por lo menos acá en Oriente, en, en la unión se maneja la sardina. En, en San Salvador creo que le conocen como pescaditas. ¿Cuál es la sardina? Las pescaditas. Eh, son los pescaditos chiquitos. Chiquitos, delgaditos, finos. Que se le pone la yuca sí, o, o el chicharrón. Ah, no, Tortilla, para mí chicharrón, pepesca, limón. No, pepescas. Pepesca. 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 Ajá, pepescas. Uh -huh. Para mí son pepescas. Yeah. Ajá. Ajá. Y para usted, Marco, son sardinas. En, en el fango le dicen ejotes. Oh. Imagínense, wow. Bueno, pero para que no nos vayamos mucho del tema, gracias por tus ejemplos, <laughs> pero para que no vayamos mucho del tema es porque we're going to talk about cultural stuff right now. So culture is something that is in, for example, a country, but from one place to another place, the things are very different, right? So here in El Salvador, imagine that El Salvador is too small, like really, really small, like a little country. But then you have countries like Russia. Then you have countries like United States, really, really big countries. And these countries have different cultures as well and different words and different things that they want to say. For example, do you know some interesting things about different cultures. For example, in, in Spain, it's really common for people to give two kisses when they meet a new person. So they do like one and two, okay? Do you know any other cultural stuff about other countries? In Chinese, mm -hmm. it's, um, what do you say? Falta de respeto. Okay, disrespectful. Show your, your feelings. Really? Yes, when you start with your uh, couple. Oh, kiss oh. Her, kiss him or, or how? So, Something like that. Ah, I am very irrespectful. Disrespectful. Respect, irrespectful. This, this, this respect. Disrespectful. Yes. Um. Yes. I. Th I thought you said like showing your feelings. Like if I'm angry, show that I'm angry. But you're trying to say that show affection to your couple in public show places. Show affection. Yes. In public part. places. But because I mean, yes. como hacen babies, you know, verdad? Like in public places, no. No. Oh, is, is a little thing to. Uh, Hasta darse uh, la mano. Yes, not. Uh, yeah. um, never if it is the, your couple or your father or your mother is irrespectful. Okay. Oh, wow. or even with your family. Yes. Wow, interesting. It's a crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, I know. But here in El Salvador, oh my goodness. Even with the strangers, hola, como esta? Tiempo sin vela, venga, comadre, right? Y el virus no existe, es un invento del gobierno, venga, déseme, right? So no, in other countries, they are really respectful with that. So we're going to go really fast to the breaker rooms, and I want you to share like Janet did in this moment. Try to share anything you know from other cultures that are are different from Salvadorian culture, okay? So I'm gonna send you, like it's gonna be really quick because we need to come back and just share something you know. There we go.
Recording in progress. <laughs> Listen every every weekend in my er, recording in progress. Every weekend, why? Yeah. I I mean in the class today. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I'm waiting for the other ones to come to the class. Danilo, do you listen do you listen the the tiste? Hey, yeah. Are you drink the tiste? <laughs> Yes, uh, I have the experience to taste uh, the tiste several times in the past. Right oh. now, it's not common in uh, in San Salvador. It's not common. Many no, years common. ago, in the, yes. in the in the is in the other in the other country is not common. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, I have a, I had an experience uh, in other co culture. I went to to Spain, and I ordered a, a juice, a, a orange juice. Oh. Uh, give me an orange oh, juice. No uh -huh. uh, yes, 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 yes. And I, I was waiting for a long time, and nothing, nothing. My order was uh, uh, zero, and finally I. I claim, oh, what happened? Why you don't give me the use? Uh, what did you use uh, here? We say sumo, and that is a difference. For example, in Guatemala, uh, somebody ordered a, give me a chuco, and the madame that was uh, selling in the market, this is not chuco. This is a, a clean beverage. Uh, and, it's okay. like a Mexican. Yeah. In Mexican, yeah. you can ask for juice because it is uh, water, water, liquid, uh, water, uh, okay. water. <laughs> uh -huh. And also, okay. guys, uh, yes, I'm speaking. This is Puchardo. Yes. Okay. So, also, uh, in, in, for example, words that are not bad words for us, but palabras que no son malas palabras para nosotros. For example, um, ¿qué entienden ustedes por, por el chingaste? Es un desperdicio. It's a waste. Yes. It's a waste for the coffee. Ajá, exactly. <laughs> ¿Qué creen que es en México? Eh... <laughs> O oh, cuando dicen, vos que chingás, chingaste, es como... Ah, sí, ah, okay. Entonces yo le decía, el chingaste, y se le van a quedar viendo usted como, ¿qué? Disculpa. Mm. Right. Mm. So, mire, le voy a mostrar unos que están aquí. Like, they are really interesting, so I'm going to show you. Le voy a mostrar unos, unos datos interesantes. Y después otros que, les que vimos ahí, que ya le voy a compartir. Ok, so let me... In another country, uh, you can say papaya. You need to say fruta bomba. Because oh. papaya in this part of place is the, the part of the woman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that too. Here in El Salvador, we have different names for that too. Okay, <laughs> let's go here. So, like I was telling you, this is the one that I told you first. Kissing both cheeks is a common way of greeting someone in Spain. Then we have the next one here. Can you please help me read in this one, um, Gabriela? Um... And um, some Asian countries, slurp, slurping loudly is a thing that the food is good. Sign, it's a sign, okay. Mm. So, slurp, slurp is doing the, okay, when eating, exactly. So, it's a sign that the food was delicious. So, it's not offensive. Here in El Salvador, for example, for me, if you're eating and you're eating really loud, I'm like, 
Yes. It's annoying. It's horrible. It's annoying. But in, you see, in Asian, Asian countries, in Asia, it, yes. yes. Let's go to the next I, one. I, I, I don't like Dutch. Ush. Can you I help me? Make hungry. Angry. Yeah, angry. <laughs> me too. Me too. Adriana, can you help me reading this one? Yes, yeah, teacher. No problem. In Japan, they honor the elderly with drinks and always serve them first when eating. Okay, so first you serve the old people, the elderly, and then and you honor them with drinks. For example, you offer, in, offer them beverages because they are really important in Japanese culture. Can you help me with this one? Milton. Hi, teacher. Help me. Read. Okay. In, in China, read, read the article. Yeah, yeah, please, please. Teacher. Okay. In China, any TV show and film featuring time travel are Sensor. Okay. So it says it says here, guys, Sensor. look at this. This is very crazy. I don't know. It says in China, any TV shows and films featuring time travel are censored. So they cannot play movies or shows that have to be with the time traveling. Have you ever watched this movie? Back to the Future? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. I am glad it's a very good movie. I, I like it too. It was one, it's one of my favorites. But the thing is, in China, you cannot watch it because it's censored. So I'm going to read you. I'm going to read to you. Te voy a leer otros eh, datos interesantes de otros países a ver qué les parece. For example, here's another one. It says... Ba -ba 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 -ba. In Russia... The emo, ¿saben los, las personas así que se visten de emo y eso? Están prohibidas. En Etiopía. In China, in China, in China the team of football soccer is a world, worldwide championships. It's a North, it's a North, it's a North, it's a, um, ¿cómo es que se dice falsa? It's a North false. ¿Cómo así? En que China, China ¿qué? supuestamente el, el equipo, la selección de China fue campeona del mundo, supuestamente. No se está confundiendo usted con Corea del Sur. Oh, sí, Corea del Sur. Ah, ok. Yes, es Corea del Sur. Ellos crearon su propio mundial. Bye. El otro es Etiopía. Etiopía sigue un calendario que va siete años atrás. ¿Sabían eso ustedes? Etiopía mm. follows a calendar that is seven years behind the rest of the world. That's crazy. I don't know why, but they do that. The teacher, mm -hmm. the pandemic there. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. O sea, ellos sí están en el año 2020, pero su calendario va siete años atrás. O sea, no sé si me entienden. Como la, el orden del calendario va siete años atrás. 2015. It's, it's, it's queer. And then they have in Denmark, citizens have to select baby names from a list of 7,000. Uh, o sea, en Dinamarca, los solo pueden elegir entre 7,000 nombres que son aprobados por el gobierno. O sea, que no le pueden andar poniendo Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo y nombres hacia los niños. Because that's something good, maybe. I don't know, right? Okay, guys, so that will be it for today's class. That will be it for the, so the topic we have for today was just culture stuff. Remember, I need you to practice, guys. I really, 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 really need you to practice the, 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 the tongue twister because with that, you're gonna practice a little bit more your pronunciation. Don't just think about it, say it. Try to say it, record yourself and, listen to yourself saying the tongue twister okay 
Okay, guys, so I will see you tomorrow and remember to work on the platform because we have to complete it before um, Thursday's class. Okay, okay, teacher, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.